same. Unfortunately, we can't change anything. It's only going to get hotter going into the weekend. We've been tracking that big ridge of high pressure. Some people can call it a heat dome. It's a buzzword. Either way, whatever you call it, it's about to move right on top of us, and it's going to produce some pretty warm temperatures this weekend. Here's what it's going to look like on Saturday. Most of the United States sitting under that really strong area, that big ridge of high pressure. But notice what happens early next week. This is some good news. It's going to start to reposition itself across the desert southwest. That's where it's going to be the strongest. And that's going to allow the jet stream to take this northwest flow. And while northwest flow can be annoying in some regards, especially in the months of June, in this case, northwest flow may push us a couple of rain chances over the next uh, week or so. And that's going to continue to be the case well into the middle part of next week. It's going to be hot the next seven days. In fact, it only gets warmer going into this weekend. Many of us in the upper 90s, both Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then you can see where uh, that ridge, that heat dome, slides off towards the west temperatures come down a bit. Don't get too excited. We're still in the mid, even low 90s swell into next week. It's going to be hot. It's just not going to be as hot as what we're going to have to put up with this weekend. Rain chances as a result pretty low tomorrow. Not zero, about 10% chance tomorrow and on Saturday. We'll bump that up to 20% for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then by Wednesday, maybe that northwest flow allows a disturbance to pass through. That might give us a few more of those showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder. Again, that's still a ways away. Chances aren't all that great, but it's a best chance we've had in a while and boy we need some rain brand new drought monitor just came out today shows uh, parts of the area starting to see abnormally dry conditions uh, if you've not started watering your lawns yet uh, it's probably uh, going to have to happen pretty soon to keep them nice and green uh, that drought certainly starting to move into parts of madison even eastern washington county uh, logan and scott county also seeing some of those dry conditions out there uh, in spring we have that mostly cloudy sky it's 86 degrees right now those temperatures slowly coming down into the uh, low 80s by let's say 10 o'clock for many of us. Eventually, by tomorrow morning, we're only going to drop into the upper 60s, low 70s. Uh, so it's not going to provide a lot of relief overnight tonight. Certainly, it's going to stay muggy as well. 90 tomorrow in the river, uh, northwest Arkansas under a partly cloudy sky, much like today. Saturday and Sunday, you'll see those incremental increases in afternoon high temperatures. Heat index values Sunday and Monday very well get close to the threshold required to see some heat advisories issued. We're talking right around 100, as high as 105. And then finally, we'll get a little bit of relief in terms of the temperatures early next week. But the humidity is not going anywhere. It's going to stay muggy for the next several days. In fact, uh, without a good strong cold front, I can't imagine we're going to see uh, those muggy uh, levels come down anytime soon. Wednesday might be our best chance for some scattered showers. Even then, I've got it at 30% right now. It's no guarantee. Uh, looks like we'll likely be warm the second half of next week as well.